<laughs> Was it hard to let down, Kyle? Jeff's like, watch this. I'll swing it all the way around the tree and nail him. <laughs> yeah. August is gonna pay. <laughs> Remember that one time? Where he didn't pay me till the next day? I'm paying him today. <laughs> this morning, I took a net one of those Advil gel caps and I broke it and I rubbed it on my elbow but it didn't work I don't know we'd need a bucket truck for sure or else I'd have to cut into it just to make sure it's even climbable oh I was thinking mm, there's a lot of green on that thing there's yeah. a lot of green but a lot of green on a black oak yeah um so doesn't mean green. the roots are good so Here's the tree we're going to cut down today. They're concerned about roots that have been cut. Um, the tree is a little sketchy. There's some raccoon poop. So there might be a raccoon up there. I have to watch for that. Fair amount of decay in the tree. Some funky, funky look to it. Yeah. We'll get up there and rig it out. I see some. Oh, that's a blue jay. So I'm climbing today, we'll get up there and we'll rig this thing out and then we'll probably flop some uh, logs down here. Cameras always rob terrain, but there's this little bit of terrain right here and the tree leans this way. So rather than, we shouldn't have to rig this uh, stem wood down. We should be able to flop this wood out here there's sprinklers, some irrigation and whatnot. But firewood sized pieces would hit that terrain and go flying off somewhere. So we'll probably pull some bigger pieces out and that'll control the deflection, how far they bounce, the ricochet. Anyway, let's get to work. Let's just show you some work. Okay. This is the RC2000 lowering device. This one's designed by Reg Coates. You can find him on YouTube. First try. I wondered if it would be. What do you think? First try? No. We got some nice grass here and we got to protect it. We got some sprinklers where the cones are and I don't have anything else to say. So YouTube, right up in here and a lot of these old trees, you find a, a lot of raccoon poop. So like I throw my rope over and then all that stuff dropping down is a uh, raccoon raccoon scat what you touched it without gloves i don't think raccoon poop has uh corona <laughs> Okay, YouTube, here I am in the top. I'm gonna show you how I set up the rigging in case you wanna see. And I'll try to do less helmet cam work today because it's so dizzy making. Oh, there goes my saver, it just fell off. I dropped my pulley that I use for uh, rigging myself out of the tree, you know, the, the tie-in. And it's way down there on a crotch. So I made this little grappling hook and 
it'll be easier to use this than it will be to go down there and get it and come back because they can't get it from the ground. So I'll show you. This is the these are the little problem solving things we do. Okay, YouTube. I'm rigged. This is my no. I'm talking to YouTube. This this is my rig for me, coming off of this. And this is the rig for the all the trunks. I'm gonna lower off. So I'm gonna lower off all that, and then this, and then I'll go over to this whole other side, and we'll swing this whole other side down there and then when we're done with that we'll come to the other side and we'll rig the, all of that off and then we'll do this top last so that's it three rings here for bend radius that's a david driver um, thing he's the guy that started the x rings and uh, joe made this for me it's uh, custom. It's pinto pulley with uh, yeah. I don't. I don't want to talk a lot. I just want to work. So let's do that. Okay, that's on. Slipperiness on the butt.
I'll check in with you, YouTube. That was a quick one, two, three, boom. That's done. Uh, now we're gonna, we'll, we'll take this one that the limb, I mean, the, we'll take this one now that the camera was on. We were here looking down. But we'll take this off and then we'll pop over there. I'll find a new place for you. For right now, I think I'll put you guys right here. Where should we put you, YouTube? Gonna be doing that stuff over there. So. That's a little place so that I can clamp you guys right there. Do you want to see that? I'll show it to you. Maybe some of you YouTube guys. Here's the clamp, and we just clamp it on like this clamp it like on uh, Beverly Hillbillies. Ha, ha, ha. 
checking in with YouTube. That was a one, two, wham, bam, done. And now this one, a couple little leaves on the other side of the fence, but it's been a really clean, quick, smooth show so far. I think it's time to swap this battery and maybe I'll keep you guys up close for the next. Damien thinks that if I throw you to him, that he'll be able to catch you. That's what he thinks. Are you ready? Oh, I was about to throw it and you looked away. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Boy. That thing gained some serious speed. Putting a new battery in it. Yeah. Damien, I'm pretty or like, sure Damien said he's gonna go. Is he? So, YouTube, in case you didn't know, we keep swapping ends. If I'm rigging on, on this side, then we'll put the snap on this side and we'll, and then the man will hold this side. But if we're rigging trees off this side, then we tie the rope onto the rigged piece and then the man holds this one. Pretty simple stuff. So, we just swapped ends. He's going to have this one. Whoop. He'll be standing out there, see him there? And then this, he'll be going up through the rings and down. And we'll, we'll probably hook it right there. And then I'll cut it clear down there where it comes off. And I can't really leave the camera up here because if I point it at the work there, then it won't see the cut down there. So it'll be better if I take the camera with me, I guess, and maybe put it on my helmet or something. Okay, I put you guys on my helmet. I'll swing over there. I'll make the cut. I'll try to hold my head still so that you get that view without getting all dizzy from uh, too much head movement, head movement, as they say in MMA. You guys are going to want to tighten this one up. The less banging around it does, um, the less chance of a giant dead thing breaking off and falling. <coughs> you guys, be careful. <coughs> I'm coughing from the sawdust, not corona, I promise. You guys be careful that... Um, Nothing big falls on you if, if something breaks. Because there's a few dead things on this one. You guys got it pre-tensioned pretty good? All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a little hiding. All right, no, no big breaks. Okay, YouTube crowd, we'll do this in two pieces. We could do it in one, but it'll be a little smoother if we go one, two, and um, because we're swinging it kind of beside the tree and and those ornamentals so it's kind of up to Jeff to just to, to take it down and away and through like that something else worth mentioning is don't leave a lot of stub cuts I had a, a guy in one of my comment sections the other day he was saying you can tell he doesn't know what he's doing he didn't leave a bunch of limbs sticking out because you might need those for rigging. And it was like such a dumb thing to say because 
rigging snags up if you leave a bunch of of well i don't have any to show you but that that big cut down there the reason why i went through the effort of slicing it off smooth is so that this stuff when jeff's rigging it past doesn't hang up on something that you left behind because you were either lazy or you weren't sure what you were going to do later so you left something because you don't know if you need it because you don't really know what the heck you're doing we all kind of go through that phase and when you go through it hard and find yourself hung up uh, enough times then later you know what you're doing and you don't want to do that so we're gonna rig this off the the line it's butt tied so when it comes off you want the rope pulling against the spine of the snap not out here on the gate and that's something that it's a detail this snap it wouldn't be a problem if it leaned on the gate but it's just a principle i guess all right ready jeff this one the bottom one you're gonna take it out in between the shrubs and down into your lap kind of so i'm i'm kind of facing it out away from me so that you can take it down in between the ornamentals ready make sure you guys are on sometimes you think you're on and you're not on you're up there off and then you spend all this time yakking and then you're not even there See, he went right between the ornamentals in the tree and he brushed right up against where that trunk was cut off. That would have snagged up if we didn't know what to do. I want to talk to YouTube for a second before you tie that. I want to tell them something. I want to tell them something. So YouTube, I, I hook them like this a lot because it chokes and it's it's good enough um, on real slippery trees then you want to hook it with a marl somebody asked me a while back what a marl is so the marl you put a half hitch here so this is going to invert and then the rope will be like that on it and then your other one hooks up like normal like this see and it's more for them to untie but it's a safeguard against the whole thing just slipping off the end but you don't have to have redundant rules if you understand why the rules are there it's to keep things from slipping off the butt so I'm gonna cut it down here and this would keep this from slipping off the butt if it were necessary and it's not this will not move when damien was first getting all rig savvy working with us he marled every single one and i would tell him damien you don't have to marl every single one <laughs> now we say it all the time <laughs>
this one is not going to invert. We're going to tip tie this one. So if we want it to be all super uh, book safe or whatever, then the marl would be here. So it's got the du double choke basically. There's not all the pressure here because it's twisted and backed up by this one. These are basics, people. Sometimes YouTube, you, nice you got to be ready for nice job. both you and the climber. Got to be ready to, because <laughs> uh, you got to know that when you're hooked a certain way, you're about to see a certain action. That's pretty vague, but you'll know when you know, and you'll know if you know. I hate that. Nice job! This would be one that I would normally flush off so that it didn't get in the way of my rigging but I'm confident that that stuff we can do it and get it past this without hanging it up otherwise I wouldn't mess around I would flush that off so yeah when it comes to those ones that you're hiding from like I was there where you're cutting and dodging that that's climbing that's part of the job and you have to be able to kind of read uh, what's about to happen. The story that you just wrote by the way you planned it out, by the way you rigged it, it's like prophecy. It's going to happen. And if you, if you can anticipate that, then you'll know where to hide. Now, I suppose you could argue that you should just rig it small enough and controlled enough that you never have to do any of that kind of stuff but again not everybody's got an equal amount of knowledge so if you know you can do something then it's within your wheelhouse to do it that's all freedom sweet freedom I gotta make a face cut, so hold on a sec. Okay. On this side. Make sure you run it enough to not hang it up on that thing that I left behind a minute ago. I guess it's going to be slow. YouTube, this is the last one, the one that I'm tied to. You get that, YouTube? You guys see that? August Honicky at his finest there. Adam Zoppo just viewing, and Jeff Schroeder on ropes. Nice job, Jeff. That was smooth. We have a place that we can drop wood there, but we're rigging all the big brush out because it's too big to not destroy all the little plants but I can thread the wood down in there
by hand. Don't want to hang it up on that thing I left back down there. That was good. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you should have had gloves. But that was a really nice run. 10 o'clock. Has all the brush off this thing by 10 o'clock. Hey, get him out of there. That's craziness. Flatness. All right, I'm ready to go again. Adam's such a good ground man, he just can't help himself. Climber ain't gonna have to do nothing when he hits the ground. Still, I don't want him to get flattened, you know? Okay. Are you ready? B plus. Coming down. I don't go lower than B plus. <laughs> Jeff wanted to give it a B minus. The nerve. That was an A. Flatness. Flatness, but then it rolled over that little grassy thing. <laughs> With steamroller. <laughs> YouTube. This is the Echo 2511T with a Panther bar and a quarter pitch chain. Quarter pitch bar and chain. This thing, I love it. There's the mod. You want to see the modified exhaust YouTube? Don't anybody go under this log. Little straight pipes. This saw is, I mean, can you believe like I've done almost every bit of this tree with this tiny little saw. It's just epic. Okay. I'm going to try to flip this one. Oh, we're back to B plus, are we? Okay. I just want an A plus. I want an A plus so bad. Ooh. That's not an A plus. That's a B plus. Plus. Okay, YouTube, here we are at the bottom. You can see the fence has not been impacted by us. The shrubs, the little ornamentals. That's an old wound, obviously. Little dogwood, irrigation, sprinklers are still intact. And we'll flop a log right there on that.
cleanup's done. YouTube the lean how do I explain this for people who don't know so the, the tree was like was like this and the face cut is basically level so I could tell it wanted to go a little to the left but I didn't want it to miss so at the end there I was cutting off this corner because I didn't want this corner grabbing much and then of course I left a nice um, bit of holding wood on this corner so that it would move this direction as much as possible for the face cut we had there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did.